Wisconsin's lakes, rivers, and streams are some of the prettiest and most utilized in the United States. Whether it's fly fishing for trophy trout, hunting for an elusive muskie, pleasure boating, water skiing, canoeing, kayaking, or a whole host of other activities, Wisconsin has the waters for you. But these bodies of water face a serious threat, aquatic invasive species. Aquatic invasive species are non-native plants and animals that may cause economic, environmental, and recreational harm. In a native environment, plants and animals have natural predators, parasites, pathogens, and competitors that keep them in check and create a balance. However, when invasive species move to an area where they are not natural, they leave these checks and balances behind. Aquatic invasive species thrive because they may be more aggressive, reproduce quickly, and mature early. This can be bad news for the lakes and rivers we love. Invasive species enter foreign water bodies in a number of ways, but for the majority, the common culprit is people. Humans can act as a transport for these invasive species in a variety of ways, like ballast water of ocean-going ships, stocking of sport fish, accidental releases associated with horticultural practices, bait business, aquaculture industry, and aquarium trade. Once in our waters and wetlands, these aquatic invasive species rely on humans to move them from one body of water to another. They do this by hitching a ride. Aquatic hitchhikers are spread by boats, trailers, seaplanes, personal watercraft, and other equipment, such as scuba gear that are moved between different lakes and rivers. They can also be spread by contaminated live bait and water in bait buckets, live wells, and other boat compartments that are moved between water bodies. Once introduced, some of these invasive species can spread to adjacent waters without human help, like plant seeds or fragments, and fish through tributaries. However, humans serve as their main mode of transport. Once these invasive species enter a new environment, they can be almost impossible to control. So why should you care? Aquatic invasive species can have a major economic, ecological, and recreational impact. The cost to control invasive species can be extremely high, but the economic impacts go far beyond the direct cost of management. Tourism is one of Wisconsin's largest industries, bringing in over $11 billion a year, and it's dependent on our lakes, rivers, and natural resources to attract visitors. However, these resources are already threatened by invasive species. One example is invasive plants like Eurasian water milfoil that can form dense mats making boating, fishing, and swimming difficult and lakes less desirable. Invasive species have the ability to change habitats and threaten the plants and animals that live in them. For example, wetlands overrun with purple loosestrife are less capable of supporting animals that depend on native plants for food and shelter. Purple loosestrife is also a threat to wild rice beds. While some invasive plants create dense mats hindering boating, fishing, and swimming, zebra mussels wash up on shore and can cut the feet of unsuspecting swimmers. Other invasives can negatively impact populations of the native sport fish we love to catch. While efforts to prevent the spread of species can at times seem hopeless, they're not. The goal of Wisconsin's Aquatic Invasive Species Program is to prevent introduction and limit the spread of aquatic invasive species. There are important steps to take to achieve this goal, and you can help. As the old saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This is especially true for aquatic invasive species. Prevention depends on the actions of individuals like you. This message is the heart of aquatic invasive species prevention. There are important steps for boaters and anglers to take and encourage others to take as well. Inspect and remove aquatic plants and animals from boats, trailers, and gear. Drain all water from your boat and equipment. Dispose of leftover bait and trash cans before leaving the landing. Do not reuse it in another water body. Rinse boat and equipment with hot or high pressure water or dry them for at least five days. If you can turn all of these steps into habits before you drive away from the boat landing, like putting on your seatbelt, you'll be doing your part to prevent invasive species from entering and spreading through our waterways. 
Hobbyists, classroom teachers, and students can also follow simple steps to do their part in prevention. Never release pets or plants into nature. Whether they're from your home, business, or classroom, they should not be released into the wild. Contact retailers or the DNR for alternative solutions for unwanted specimens. Know what you're getting. Avoid purchasing known nuisance species. Besides making sure to do your part, you can help others do so as well. Local citizens are the backbone of much of the aquatic invasive species work going on around Wisconsin. You too can get involved. Volunteer. Join the Clean Boats, Clean Waters program and help educate boaters at landings. Become part of a citizen lake monitoring program and learn what's going on beneath the surface of your lakes. Take part in Purple Loose Strife Biological Control by raising loose strife eating beetles. Take care of your shoreline in a way that protects the health of the lake and its ecosystem. And finally, talk to your friends and neighbors. Educate them on the threat of invasive species and what they can do to prevent them from spreading. Always take the appropriate steps to prevent the spread of aquatic hitchhikers. You can make a difference. For more information on how you can help control the spread of aquatic invasive species, log on to our website.